So I wanted to show you what what I'm looking at when I look at your siding here and why I suggested that you restain the, the exterior. This, which may look like it's protected, you can see that it's dry. Um, so what I'm going to recommend, uh, unless you're absolutely in love with the look of the cedar, you're gonna have to sacrifice or decide whether you want look or longevity. I'm gonna suggest that after this is cleaned with oxalic acid um, and a milled aside, that we do a coat of an oil primer and then two coats of solid stain. This is solid stain that's on this trim, although they did not prime. So that's why you're seeing some peeling in spots. And I think they only put one coat on, but. So all of this black that you see, that's mildew. So the first step obviously is to, to kill that. And you can see on my hand actually, that's the product coming off. So you can't without removing this or using a product to seal this really well, you can't use the product that they used on this originally. It just will not look the same. Um, aside from stripping this chemically, you need to use a primer to get a good base coat on this to then put products on top of that. This here looks like a semi-gloss paint. So you can actually use either. You can use the solid stain or uh, a semi-gloss or matte paint on the trim. That's your choice. Uh, two coats either way. Not sure what you're thinking for color. I also notice on a lot of these soffit vents are clogged. So they will be cleaned when we do the washing. Another reason it's imperative that we wash the house. The deck, this deck doesn't look like it has had anything put on and if it has, it has failed by now, which is what you want. You want the product on any decking to fade with age and not peel like the docks did and like this outer band did. So with these exterior railings, Jeff, I would do the two coats of the solid stain. Same product we would be putting over the primer on the siding. This is what we call French cut. Um, that's because this was painted before it was installed probably, before the siding was installed. Um, in our case, typically 99 out of 100 people, we just face off this trim. So this in here would be the same color as the siding. Again, you can see the, the mildew, especially from this angle all that black. Uh, in terms of the roof, you know about the moss and all that. Same idea why we wanna kill that because all of that migrates to the siding and everything else. These upper shakes, you could opt to, after we clean them, cause they will, they'll brighten up considerably. You could do the very least, I would say a semi-solid product. That semi-solid product would hide the knots the visible part of the knots, but the texture would still remain, but you're only gonna get about three or four years um, out of a semi-solid product. Again, why we'd recommend, especially for a second home, that we do the oil-based primer and two coats of the solid stain. You'll go anywhere, depending on the side of the house and exposure, 10 to 14 years before you could, you'd have to do a maintenance coat. Um, that's obviously um, taking into account that we'd be washing it every couple of years to keep mildew down because mildew is what goes after the coatings. So I just wanted to run through that with you as I walked around. Houses, you know, the, the front side here is pretty much what indicates what's what the rest of the house looks like. So um, I will be sending this along with your proposal. If you have any questions, don't uh, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks.